Welcome back. So, this is going to be a little bit of a quick video, but it's something that needs to be addressed anyway. And now that we've gotten this all the way taken apart, there's something I have to admit. These legs have been off the ground for about six months now. Uh, this is an extremely unlevel garage, and I just haven't really gotten around to getting the correct things to actually get this up off of the ground. So today, I'm going to get this uh, lifted up uh, however I can and get some actual machine feet underneath each of these legs, and that way I can have this leveled out properly. Now, I don't have any sort of proper bottle jack, and even though there's a little bit of a lift, up in the middle of these legs. I don't really have any other type of jack that's going to be able to get up in there. So I'm just going to have to make do with using one of these uh, car jacks. And let's see, I think I have a decent piece of wood around here somewhere. Something that I can use to put in between the interface of that jack and the bottom, so that way I at least prevent some amount of damage from occurring. I'm going to use this socket here to give me a little bit easier time doing this than trying to use the standard tire iron jack. Alright, so let's see how well that goes. It might be high enough up to get one of these legs under there. So these outside bolts are, I guess, extra like tie downs. The ones I want to get are the inside here. And we are just a little bit short. There we go. And that's one of them. I'm gonna have to lower this down onto there, aren't I? Hmm. Unfortunately, I wish I, I actually kind of wish I had heavier duty bolts for that, but uh, there's these. These bolts that uh, are these legs that I have are the only size that have the correct bolt. Unfortunately, can't really go any bigger without uh, drilling it out. Let's get that carefully down. One of these keeps getting backed up. What's this one? Yeah. I'm just trying to be as careful about this as I can. I don't want to lose a hand or a finger. Really unfortunate to, I would have the really unfortunate uh, circumstance of having the only cell phone I could use to call 911 being the one recording this video. So, it'd be rather uh, difficult to do so with my hand jammed underneath the machine. Oh, that's annoying. So, I've got this down. And the dirt that's inside these holes from it being sitting out in the yard somewhere. Uh, are making it not want to come down all the way. Maybe I'll just... Uh, I don't know 
what I think I was doing there. The uh, weight of a uh, one ton of uh, steel and cast iron isn't going to make that move. Then. I don't know what my hands were going to do. Maybe I can get just a little bit of that dug out of here. Uh, don't worry, I found the issue. Here's with my eyeballs. Uh, I forgot that I had accidentally moved one of these bolts a little bit up. Uh, hmm, I think I might need to pull a little bit of pressure off to actually get that one up. But uh, yeah, no, I uh, might might help a little bit to instead pay attention to the bolts before I put them in. And yeah, I want to bring these ones down because this is the side that's already high, so I don't want to have it already losing some of my height, maximum height that I'm going to get out of uh, these legs. <clears throat> already gone because of this one side. So let's uh, put that down. Uh, okay. And let's move on to the other side and I'll get to uh, the middle ones while the left is being lifted up. Hmm. Just low enough to fit under there, nice. Yeah. It'd be really nice to have some other way of uh, lifting things here. I actually had, uh, oh, I can break this. I did. Huh. Yeah. Oh, I guess it's because I was at the bottom of the stroke of that that I couldn't really get it up anymore. Yeah. It'd be nice to have something else to lift in this shop with in this shop because uh, uh, I only have uh, a couple cheap uh, car jacks. Oh. Now I have to think of something else. Well, I guess uh, failing with the uh, mechanical th components, we're just going to go for good old-fashioned mechanical advantage. <clears throat> that should lift it pretty decently. I might need to get a little bit further in. Oh, there comes more of the oil. <laughs> Oh, just realized I probably need something to uh, set under said bar when I lift it up so that I can have things held in place long enough to actually get a foot underneath it. So. See, is that nope? I'm gonna need a little bit more. Will that fit under the other side? Nope. Give this just a little bit more. There we go. That should hold it. Uh, Air quotes safe. Will I get one of these legs put underneath it? Oh, all well, my simple green is spilling out. <laughs> There's a round-shaped device when you need it. Okay. 
Come on. Oh, just the fun of picking up devices that they've set down in the dirt and dragged through it for who knows how long. Is that cleared out enough? Let's try this. Oh, it's not. Maybe we just get that all the way through. Okay, there's got to be it now, right? Oh, come on. I think I have to screw this into the dirt to get it to hold in place. I mean, if that works. Well, I guess now on to the other one. So, get this moved out from under. Put it under there. At least this one's the consistency of mud. Okay. Let's uh, get this out from under there. Now, no hands. is not wanting to go in. Well, I couldn't get it in all the way on that anyway, but uh, that one already needs to be lifted up higher, so I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, now, while I can get a regular trolley jack under this other side, let's see if I can get enough room to get those in. Oh, come on. Uh, so I have a jack. It's not a very good one. Oh, let's see if that gives us enough room. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's just enough. Whew. Oh, where did I put that other foot? I only got six of them. Yeah, I have this old one that somebody borrowed and broke. <laughs> and it's not really running with a full set of oil. They broke a seal on it and <laughs> leaked out some of the oil so it doesn't really get full pressure. There we go. Well, that does it for the uh, putting it on machine legs part. Uh, 
Maybe now we can see how level this thing actually is. So here on the ways I have one of the few pieces of uh, precision measurement gear that I own and it's telling me we're outside the range of even that. I can go over here and give those legs a couple turns, see if we notice any sort of difference out of that. It might give us a little bit more room to work with, but really looking at these uh, looking at these bolts they'll do for now but I really don't mm -hmm. think these bolts are going to have enough range of motion to actually make the make a difference here I got them based off of how much adjustment range I thought I'd need but uh, looking at it some of these mm -hmm. bolts are uh, probably already halfway through the casting on the leg and I can't really move it any more than that without getting to a point that I think would be not safe. You may actually be able to tell here with this bolt out as far as it is, it's already wanting to start to cock eye a little bit and it's not poking it up at all through the casting on either side. So I think what I'm gonna have to do before actually getting a proper level on this lathe is to have at least these two legs, if not all of them, replaced to get something that actually goes all the way through. Looking over at these, we've got plenty of room on them, but uh, so that would be safe, but the other two lower side ones are definitely going to need to be changed. I think that'll actually do it for us for today. It's really as level as I'm going to be able to get this thing, and at least it's uh, sitting on six, six feet instead of four. See you next time.